y'all, man, we got the Batman 2022 new poster plus link merch reveal gadgets, man. I heard about the, um, they're supposed to make the Batman series, like, well, animation series. And then they made, and then they made, um, Spider-Man, not Spider-Man, Superman, um, Adventure, some shit, and Captain Network, some shit. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's what I heard on Twitter. It was, it was trending and shit. It was trending. Yeah, it was, it was them too, right? Yeah. But, um, yeah, well, I, I was like, a lot of people were like, oh, why they all made two of them? They, that's, they, all, they, all, they all do make this Batman Superman. No Green Lantern, no Aqua, um, man, no um, Captain, you know what I mean? Just Batman Superman, Batman Superman. <laughs> but, nah, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to see those two. I might see them. One is going to be on HBO, and they said one is going to be on Captain Network, the Spider on Superman one, and the other Batman going to be on HBO Max. I might see those two, though. I mean, they is animation, though. But, yeah, like I said, it might be one-time thing, and that, that's pretty much it, though. You know what I mean? That's pretty much it. But, I mean, that's cool they they doing, um, you know, animation, you know what I'm saying, cartoon and shit, you know what I mean, with the, well, you know, Batman, Superman shit. But we want that movie, though. You know what I mean? We want that Batman movie, though. But we see what my boy talking about, man. Leave a like, so my channel, man. Hey, do my channel, hit the bell new. And, um, yeah, let's get it. It's disturbing. We've got Batman news! You know what that means. When the night comes out, the Dark Nighter comes even outer. <laughs> hey, Batman fans, thanks so much for clicking this video. Up, My name is Chris. Okay. I didn't think we were going to be talking about the Batman until October with DC Fandom 2, but boy, do we have a lot of juicy Batman updates today. First of all, we got to get this green screen up and running. Today's suggestion for the green screen while the new studio is being built at another place comes from Victor, who says, A good background will be good of your handsome dad. Jeez, Dad, I wonder who freaking wrote that comment. You did this to yourself, Pops. Who do you think gave me the Batman mask? That's him on his 40th birthday. That's goals right there. But like I said, today what we're going to be talking about is showing all these new Batman leaks that have landed online. All promo art giving us a brand new poster for the Batman. Even yeah, that's what I don't know. It was his trending. Gadgets, what he'll be. That bitch is trending for a good minute on Good minute. Everybody excited for the Batman. Hughes in here. Some other looks at the villains in this film that has gotten some people upset, some people clapping. So as I'm showing these to you guys, I'm going to need you in the comments to let me know down below which has been your favorite promotional art leak. Which one is the one that you'd blow up and put upside your bed to impress? This Oceanside Verbo is about to become the backdrop for an unforgettable vacation press your ladies as well as don't be forgetting to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying all the batman and movie content i bring your way before we get into that i want to go ahead and thank today's sponsor and that is world of warships oh. world of warships is a free-to-play team-based sea battle game available for pc with more than 400 warships for you to choose there are more than four different warship classes destroyer battleships cruisers and aircrafts that you can control in a beautiful map and unique living landscapes that not only contain stunning graphics but also has weather changing capabilities Abilities. And now the game is partnering with Legendary Entertainment on a collaboration to bring Godzilla vs. Oh, Kong. Oh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Okay. That is right. Good old Godzilla vs. Kong. This is gonna be lit. Joining in. This yeah. partnership brings us two sets of cosmetics for fans of Team. Oh, that's a game right there. All right, that's what Zilla Kong. What about what bad ass? Like you know that? You about what bad ass? Don't Kong don't be playing for. Okay. Godzilla and Team. Yeah. Kong. Permanent ship skins, flag patches, camos, commanders, and animated. 3D models of the two Titans standing on their representative ships. The Godzilla and Kong commanders will also feature their roars that can be heard in battle as the commander's voiceover, in addition to a number of the sound bites from the movie. This is an extremely limited event, so you guys need to jump on this right oh, here. Oh shit! It ends May I already 31st. know that. Use yeah, the link in my description so you can ship download ever, this game for no your cap. PC. And because these are two Titans versus each other during the registration, you'll be able to choose between Godzilla using code. Godzilla or Kong using code Titan Kong. When using one of these codes in choosing your teams, you will get 300 doubloons, 1 million credits, 5 Damn. days of a premium account, premium ship USS Charleston, 10 Godzilla or Kong themed ship camouflages according to your choice, Godzilla or Kong ship commander, premium ship Takibana if you choose team Godzilla, premium ship USS Smith if you choose team Kong. Now this is for new players who have registered for the first time, so again, use codes Godzilla or Oh, damn, sucks. So people that play already, they got bad shit. Damn, that shit crazy. Titan 
Kong. Oh, we all know one of the best parts of Godzilla vs. Kong was that naval ship battle, and now you get to experience that yourself through World of Warships. I highly recommend you guys check it out. I got to play some right here. It's pretty fun. So again, links in my description if you want to download it for your PC. Again, I just want to thank World of Warships for sponsoring my channel. So all this promotional artwork is coming from... Send a gift. Birthday smiles are fast and easy. With unique presents from... From a calendar that I guess will be sold later in the year or in the year 2022. I just like with every month, they had a different piece of Batman art to go with it. I saw that one, the mask one, and I saw this one right here though. You feel me, man? Batman gonna be lit though. Batman is more gonna be lit. I'm just, I'm just trying to see when it's gonna come out though. Next year though, probably next year. Yeah. Well, I didn't post. I didn't post. Man came out, but I don't know. Like. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you feel me? All I know Batman coming out. <laughs> you feel me, man? But I, yeah, I saw this one and then that one, you know. Other than that, I ain't seen no other ones, though. It's giving us a great look of what we can expect here. The first one I want to show off to you guys is, damn, look at this freaking gorgeous poster right here of Robert Pattinson's Batman looking over Gotham City and his Batmobile front and center i have been loving how the promotional artwork has just been showing off this batmobile and it's like yeah it's a car because batman needs to drive something sleek and fast around the streets of gotham <laughs> and even the exhaust coming off of it the red lighting even the skyline of gotham city right here looks fantastic now this right here in the middle seems to be the chicago tribute and everyone's running theory right now is that'll be working as wayne tower i remember back when we were getting Oh, Chicago. Other oh. leaks on the set of the Batman. People oh, yeah, were freaking out, out when we yeah. got to see an actual stunt performer on top of this building. Oh, damn. Okay. Looking like he was about to glide off into Gotham. You know that's a scene that's going to be fantastic to watch. But I think this building is perfectly suited to be Wayne Tower, especially since it's looking like one of the biggest buildings in this Gotham City. I still got to admit, even though I really like this poster and I'm digging it, and if they sell it in stores, I'm going to be buying this thing and hanging it up on my wall. I don't know how I feel about the turquoise background. I like how some fans have already edited it to be black. <laughs> they are devious. <laughs> I know they're going to do that Photoshop. I know they Photoshop. King, they Photoshop um, masterminds, folks. They know how to do that shit. <laughs> no and I don't know, I think it just fits the theme of the movie better. But like I said, this was leaked online from an international... Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, the black one, man, I like red, but the black one look kind of look, look slick, though. That shit look fire, though. The red one look cool, too, but I was like, nah, the black one look better, though. Okay. No website, so this could be a calendar only sold in international markets, and maybe turquoise. People go crazy for that color, and they just knew if they did that on the Batman poster, people would buy it. Other interesting things that have been let loose from this promotional artwork is this one right here, where, again, it's the Batmobile and the city of Gotham City making out a bat symbol. Gotta say, again, loving the red shadows on this Batmobile. It's just really reminding me of the 60s Batmobile with Adam West. But the reason I really like this poster, other than the graphic, is because it has the words, I am the shadows. This looks like it could be another phrase that Batman will be throwing at us. So this could be the new thing that this Batman does is every time he's asked, who are you or what are you doing here? Or, What's going on? Instead of him saying the signature line of I'm Batman, he'll be throwing out <laughs> things like I'm vengeance. I'm the shadows. I am a man in a mask. It could be that thing that maybe he doesn't even call himself Batman until the end of the movie. He gets maybe asked like three or four times throughout the film. He'll start off with, I'm vengeance. I'm the shadow. I am the knight. And then at the end of the movie, we'll get that line. I'm Batman. And credits. Oh, the goosebumps are coming. Other great pieces of art that come out here is Batman in the rain right here. Really sleek. We know we're going to get some Batman in the rain sequences, especially when he's beating up some of those thugs. That's nice to see. We do have some promotional artwork of Selena Kyle, our Catwoman. And while we're on this subject, let's just get on to it right here because we also got a look of the Riddler right here. Now, this is the promotion. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the dude right of the Riddler. I, I'm like, who the fuck is this? Really no artwork they that was shown to us, do. kind of a black and white look, but then a fan went ahead and colorized and kind of enhanced the photo. Really hard to tell who is the original creator of this, but if you're out there, man, awesome work that you did this for us. Photoshop, but boy. It has caused Photoshop. a lot of Batman fans to kind of debate about do we like this look for the rogues gallery and i'm here to tell y'all if you don't dig this look and you're hating it just chill out because they're most likely changing it by the end of the movie and why do i know that because it looks like matt reeves said it himself i'm in a relentless world that's what they showed her 
but alone. Trap. I'ma roll it. Yeah, that's what they showed her earlier though. <laughs> so yeah, give y'all the their y'all own opinion. So when they you know, so they could change. You know what I mean? That's what they should that's what they showed shit earlier though. So they just like, just like a Sonic, they showed the Sonic earlier, and like, oh, hell no, we don't like it, we want the old, the OG Sonic, and then they changed that bitch real quick, so. Same this is you know, they gonna do the same shit, it might change, you know. The Rogue's Gallery is incredible, so. and what I wanted to do was I wanted to see a Batman that was not an origin tale, but was sort of in these early days, but that meant that a lot of the characters who are the Rogue's Gallery characters oh, I saw are in one, their yeah. origins in a way, and so we have a Selena Kyle who's not yet Catwoman. In this clip right here, it seems pretty clear what Matt Reeves is trying to do. He's trying to tell a younger Batman story without going into the origin, in the beginnings, having him figure it out. No, this is a semi-experienced Batman who is now meeting his rogues gallery for the first time. So with that said, we're meeting these villains as they're just becoming the- So it's gonna be like a reboot, reboot type of shit going on with Batman? Or it's gonna be like this one time thing? Shit, I don't know. Riddler and Catwoman. So it's kind of like when we first see a Spider-Man movie, he always wears the homemade suit before he goes to his great iconic suit. And yeah. the same can be said for these villains. This isn't the final Catwoman suit. This most likely isn't the final Riddler suit. And they'll evolve in the movie and fully become those heroes that we can expect. Now, even with that said, I, I bet I, I bet it's been like, I, I bet it's been like three hours long and shit. <laughs> it's Batman. <laughs> it's gonna be like three hours. Damn. It might be, I don't know, I'm just thinking top of my head though, but. Damn. I still think this Riddler look is pretty awesome because it's terrifying. We know a big mystery in this Batman movie will actually be him trying to figure out who the Riddler is. Now us as audience members know that it's Paul Dano, so kind of curious why they gave him a full face covering mask and how that'll play into the movie because we have this other promotional artwork of the Riddler that says unmask the truth. Could a plot point in the Batman movie be that fine Batman I'll reveal my secret identity. I'll take off my mask, but you have to do it as well, Batman. That could be a oh, bit of a dilemma yeah. right there with the Batman having to reveal his identity if he wants the identity revealed of this killer. I also really like this other Riddler poster right here with his logo saying the words, my whole life has been a cruel riddle. That is just some effed up stuff to say right there. And again, it's just kind of the parallel you have between Batman and the Riddler is where it seems like they both had effed up childhood, something traumatic happened to them. They both decide to put on a mask and a costume, go after crime, one wants to kill them, the other one wants to bring justice to Gotham. Bring yeah. me to this other promotional artwork of the Batman that gives us a better look at his costume and some of the gadgets he'll be using. But right here, Batman front and center, one thing that I automatically pick off is his grapple gun feature right there in his arm along with a batarang. We got to see in the Batman trailer him using the grapple gun, so that's a nice little feature right there. I think the one that really stands out to me that I'm like, man, I want to see what... <laughs> the hell this gadget does is the little communication device on his arm that we've already kind of seen in leak set photos on this batman but right here we actually get to see oh yeah that's, that's about like little one a little hey man you know what i mean type of shit the man. lit up color design of it with some blue red and green this will most likely be the communication device he uses to communicate with Alfred in the back. Yeah, hey, tell him that, hey, can you shut down this street? Can you do this? Can you send out this? Alfred, have a sandwich ready. I'm headed to the back cave. That's just one thing I love seeing is the use of the gadgets in a Batman movie. The other thing here, you can kind of see some like gas lines in his suit right here. I think this will be what he uses to knock out some victims with like some sleep gas or this could be the tubes that lead to the gas whenever he disappears in a pub place as every Batman should I just want to hear from you guys now what do you guys think of these leaked promotional artwork for the Batman which has been your favorite what can you make out from these details any speculation or theory I'd love to hear it down below don't be forgetting to smash that like button. but um yeah but hey let me know what y'all think man on the Batman you feel me man let me know y'all it's gonna be lit dude it's gonna be lit dude I'm just trying to figure out when it'll come out dude I'm still trying to figure out when it's gonna come out. Though. I used that October, right? Is that October? But I'm still figuring it out though. But anyway, man, it's gonna be lit though, man. The Batman, man. Hey, leave a like, man. So my channel, my channel, if you're new, and some of the questions, let me know in the comments, y'all, man. Um, yeah, hit the bell too. Hit the bell too. Hit, hit the bell too.
Peace.